Sanja Balisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Da da da, di da 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 da, da da dit, di 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 da. To discuss what is called a balanced antenna and what the term balance actually means with respect to an antenna or antenna system. Uh, what you're looking at, of course, is a center-fed dipole antenna. The feed line is an open wire line, such as a uh, commonly available so-called ladder line. You've seen that kind of thing. That's the feed line. The antenna is a dipole center-fed L is the length of one side, L is the length of the other side. 90 degree angles here, so the feed line comes away from the antenna at a right angle for a considerable distance. Now this is an example of, of the quintessential balanced antenna, a center-fed open wire dipole. The RF currents flow like this. Equal and opposite RF currents in the transmission line conductors leading to a single current in the antenna that goes in one direction. Notice this current goes like that this current goes like that. Now when we talk about RF current direction I'm being a little bit uh, a little bit uh, vague uh, when I talk about that. Not quite technically perfect but the idea being that at any given instant in time at every point along this line the currents, the RF currents, flow in opposite directions with equal intensity resulting in the traditional dipole current. That is a quintessential balanced antenna. It's balanced because the two sides of the antenna are exact mirror images of each other. They're identical but in opposite directions. Uh, so that is a, what a balanced antenna is. What you, you may notice, uh, and that is the simplest explanation, the simplest type of balanced antenna. There are others, but this is the simplest example of a balanced antenna that I can show you. This side and this side are exactly the same, but at any given instant in time, the RF current in the right-hand side is flowing in the opposite direction from the RF current in the left-hand side at any given point. You sort of get what I'm talking about, don't you? You look at yourself in the mirror, you see a mirror image of yourself. It looks just like you but backwards. So, if you think of a mirror as extending down the middle of the system like this, then if you look at yourself from the left, you'll see yourself in the right just exactly reversed. Now what happens here is you get the traditional radiating antenna, but at each point on the line, because the RF currents are flowing in opposite directions and because the two conductors of the line are such a tiny fraction of a wavelength apart, on 40 meters, for example, the wavelength is something on the order of 132 feet, but this distance between the two conductors might only be a couple of inches. At most, 
sometimes up to four or five or six inches, but rarely. But that's still a very tiny fraction of 132 feet. So any uh, RF sensitive person looking at this system from a great distance will see the antenna radiate and the feed line not radiate. This uh, latter line has a very low loss and this is one of the oldest known ham radio antennas and it is a balanced antenna in the truest sense. Any other antenna where the antenna radiates but the feed line doesn't not because it's shielded but because the currents balance each other out at every point is also a balanced antenna. Mirror images of each other one side and the other as opposed to say a coaxial fed ground plane antenna that is an unbalanced antenna. Now unbalanced doesn't mean bad and balanced doesn't mean good. There's no goodness or badness associated with these terms. They're simply technical terms described by a rather non-technical uh, minded radio ham. And it seems like the older I get the more I know about less and less or is it the less I know about more and more? But whatever the case may be, I think now you have a better understanding of what the term balance means when it comes to an antenna or antenna system. Other examples of a balanced antenna include a rhombic. Not a rhombi. <laughs> well, <laughs> a rhombic and uh, a V-beam. You can look those up in the ARRL handbook, which contains just about everything about ham radio you could ever want to know. And to prove it, you could knock some sense into somebody just by clobbering them over the head with one of the things. It probably weighs 10 pounds. The ARRL publishes the best stuff on the market for ham radio, and I recommend in particular the ARRL handbook published and updated every year. When I was in the technical department at uh, ARRL headquarters, they wanted to make me so-called handbook editor. Oh, God. I sure am glad I didn't try to take on that job. If you think I'm nuts now, there's no comparison to what I'd be in a case like that. But that is the W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations simplistic explanation of a very simplistic concept. Balance in an antenna system. Did I did you learn anything at all or did you just listen to some old coot with a two letter call sign yammering away again In any case I will now say 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long which means in my native ham radio language da 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 da, da.